everybody so I've pretty much finished off most of Inazuma that I want to at this point I just finished Tatara Tales the other day and then I think that unlocks a few more quests to do and in terms of exploration I pretty much I've 100 percented one of the islands high 90s for the other so I'm pretty satisfied with that and then I think like a lot of you I just want to see how this Archon arc wraps up very much so and then I think it's been obviously spoiled before the trailer was even released that Senora is back. I kind of figured that there was some dialogue that was really hinting towards her being involved in Inazuma. So that obviously seems to be the case. So as always, let's dive in, check it out. And then we're probably going to get obviously a look at some of the characters, obviously Ball in particular, I'm really excited for. I've saved up quite a few wishes to get her. Uh, so here's hoping I'm able to, uh, to get her when I roll. So anyway, let's check it out. Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> you know, the earliest shrine on Watatsumi Island was not located in Sangwanomiya. But Dem's after like a big she set down our protector deity, mm -hmm. the shrine was abandoned. Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. If what? that's the case, then the peace talks are likely a trap. Some a double crossing going on potentially in the story. That looked pretty cool. The way people charge in here as they please. So uncivilized. Senora's the one behind all this? Ugh, not her again. She's back. Ah. Ooh. Now, after what she did to Venti, oh, I've just been dying to face her. Yo. Crow Feather Hammer. That fish is pretty good hardship. looking too. The the deep. Her hair's flowing like it's underwater. That's pretty badass. To bring victory. More Kazuha? Yes, please. Raiden Shogun. Shine down. Now you shall yep. perish. Yeah, so she's like child switching weapon types? Shit. Yeah, time for Surely a rematch. You don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? That's it. Just like that. Eternity stretches things out over a long time. Scaramooch! Each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. <laughs> Ooh, that's quite the look. Oh, so two harbingers to deal with, eh? There we go. One thing I've always loved is fishing minigames for whatever reason. Hold up. Actually, that fishing animation looked pretty good. Yeah, the Inazuman weapons or whatever look great. All right, let's look at some of that one more time, shall we? You know, the earliest shrine on Watatsumi Island was not located in Sangwanomiya. Yeah, and Inazuma with this just continues to be the best looking country. Hey, people charge in here as they please. So uncivilized. It's kind of breaking out of a cocoon almost. For whatever reason, her having flame element just did not see that. Eck, they look badass though. Almost kind of looks like a butterfly on the mask. Yeah, they make the Harbingers look pretty badass. You gotta give them that much. I, I for some reason thought Kujo would probably be a five star, but they gotta give us four stars somewhere. I do like the wings. 
want to take everything away from us. To survive hardship, you must prepare for hardship. Yeah, I love the like the blue highlights at the end of her blonde hair. It's pretty dope. Yeah, and she's moving like she's underwater, like she she's everything's flowing almost like she's a fish herself. It's pretty good. The power to heal wounds, to bring victory. Yeah, I want to see what happens with that dead vision and everything else. Damn, Raiden, you just look so freaking good, man. Just holding that orb like that. Just did not see her being a spear user at all coming. I really didn't. I thought for sure she'd be just a regular sword type. But obviously, her switching between the two playstyles here. Awesome. Because I don't have child. Yeah, I just love the glowing eyes with her. Just kind of obviously filling up with that, that electrical power. So badass. Jeez Louise, man. <laughs> oh, are we going to deal with Scaramouche completely in this? Probably not. I wonder if we're going to have to deal with him in between now and Sumeru or if maybe he'll be a bigger threat in Sumeru. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, I just love how he's just giving it all he's got when he's fishing too. Oh, I probably could see more with the the extended live stream, but I'll wait till in game to discover the fishing on my own. Yeah, so I'm I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen with the Raiden Shogun. Like if she's just gonna change her tune all of a sudden, if she's gonna come around. Is everyone gonna stand around the fire and sing Kumbaya together or something like that? I don't know. But obviously the Fatui being involved, you know, there's there's obviously some stuff going in the background we don't know about yet. Oh, how is it all going to turn out? And as always, I'll post. Well, not as always since I just started doing it, but I'll, I'll post my uh, my playthrough of the Archon Quest for sure. And as always, thanks for joining me for this, this trailer reaction, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you next time.